Back at it, Cobra, their other line, the vintage. Let's call them legends. More, uh, more of like the traditional. A classic, yeah. traditional putter. We've got two weights in the bottom in them. They've got three different head models. Uh, sorry, four different head models. Um, a mallet, kind of a fang. The mallet's called the Torino, and they've got two of the sport models with the short neck and then like the classic plumber's neck. They call it a sport? <clears throat> sport, I think Sport 50 and Sport 60 or something like that. Dear Cobra, call everything like everybody else. It's a blade. Yeah, the blade. Um, so, things we got going on with these. Um, the exact same. You have the sick face in there with the descending loft. If you didn't watch our other video, or this one's coming out first, depending on which way we post them, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> it starts from one degree of loft at yep. the bottom up to four degrees of loft at the top. Yep, and so saying if you hit down or if you hit up or if you hit level, you're getting the same kind of loft with that descending loft from top to bottom. Uh, it is an aluminum insert. These are uh, steel-based putters. Again, you have two weights in them. The Torino, the mallet, has two 10 gram weights. I got no idea what that one does. Maybe like sixes or eights or fives or fours or threes. 25s. 25s, could have been farther <laughs> away. I wonder that one feels so I was heavy. I to say, this one's pretty heavy. <laughs> um, and you can buy a weight kit so you can interchange the weights and all that kind of stuff, just like how everybody else does it. Yep. Uh, the one thing, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this. Well, let's, let's, do, the, let's do the stat stats first. And the... Oh yeah, so you can talk about it. Yeah. B-roll time. And yes, when we get to that one, we are going to talk about what the fuck is going on with that line. Yeah. So again, the vintage putters, all of them have that classic look. This one, we've got the Sport 60, the Torino, the two that we have. It's classic blade in the Sport 60, kind of a classic mallet in the Torino. 304 stainless steel. Again, adjustable weights, the sick face technology. Sick man. They have the different heads for different types of strokes, whether you're a straight back, straight through, a slight arc. There is nowhere near the amount of stuff to talk about on nope. these as there was on the 3D printed one. Um, they have the exact same, that Arco, so that Cobra Connect, where you can start to get those strokes gained and log into their app and track all your stuff. Again, the sick face with that descending loft, starting at four degrees aloft at the top, dropping down to one degree towards the bottom of the face, so you're kind of getting that more accurate roll, depending on which way you're hitting it, whether you're down, whether you're up, whether you're uh, neutral, kind of coming into it. So we're being able to get a, a good launch uh, with the golf ball and get it rolling and as quick as possible. And we will do a video in the future on the sick putter just on face the, technology, because the there's, there's a lot going on there too in and itself. That's why they make their own putters. So mm -hmm. we'll do a whole thing. We'll pull a track man out, maybe go on some grass and see if we can get it to yeah. bounce. In. So that's, again, no, nowhere near the nope. amount of stuff to talk about. This is a classic putter that's, it has three pieces to it. If you count the weights, you got the weights, you got the head, you got the face. Unlike the 387 that the yeah, 3D was, printed one There's about 50 on that other one. <laughs> so a lot, a lot less to talk about, but whenever you're looking for that classic kind of milled, yes. that type of a, a look of a putter, these are not milled. The faces are aluminum. I'm, I'm not sure if they Aluminium. mill them. I'm not sure how they do that, but it's, it's not a forged putter that has a milled out face to it. Um, so as you're looking at these, again, weight kits. Weight kits are a big thing. Right. That's kind of something that, that's really where your customization comes in, where you can get the weight kit and you can change the toe weights and the heel weights and right. all the different stuff to kind of adjust it to your stroke a so, little bit. More than anything, we're gonna compare them against each other a little bit and against the 3D printed version of mm -hmm. it. Again, just much simpler design. Um, let's just right out of the gates talk about the mallet that you have in your hand. So we do not know if this is on purpose. There's nothing written about it. Maybe it's, we're just both cross-eyed. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I do have glasses on. But the it's got three lines on the top of it. So you've got your two outside and your middle scoring line to line things up. To both of us, we've <laughs> both agreed on this, that that middle line if I'm not directly over the top of this putter, it looks like it's tailing off yeah. in different directions. So I'm standing in front of them, and it almost looks like the center line is drastically closer. When I say drastically closer, I mean it looks at least five to eight millimeters closer 
to the front of the outside line that does the back. Now, I can tell you why that's happening. I just don't understand why Cobra decided to do it. Mm -hmm. The two outside lines are on an incline. So at the back mm -hmm. of that putter, if you remember the old zebras, putters, that kind of thing, yeah. it's sloping away. But the Jumps center off. of the putter is flat all the flat. way to the blade. So you get the little Cobra logo on the back of the face, all that stuff. So that's why it's visually doing that. Now, why they decided to do that, I will say when I rolled the putter, if I was, if my eye line was a little bit, and I say that, if you think back to how you're supposed to putt, your eyes are supposed to be over the top of the golf ball. When your eyes are inside the golf ball, in between you and the golf ball, essentially, it looks like the line's pointed out to the right. If your eyes get over the top of the golf ball, like too far outside, it looks like it's pointed to the left. So again, we didn't find any literature. I will double check on a big computer, but I will tell you that it is annoying. <laughs> Now, if you have trouble with your eye line, or just putting in general like Aaron's having, if you have trouble with, you, with placing your eyes, like if you use one of those mirror drills, um, you've seen in the eye line mirror, mm -hmm. and, you're, and you're not as used to getting your eyes over the golf ball, this might help. Yeah, it um, may, I mean, kind of that old, uh, just, what was the, the Seymour, whenever it yeah. had the little, the little the dot little back behind it. So if your face was open or closed, yeah. it, you would see that dot back so there. So I'm not saying that it's necessarily a bad thing. It's awkward. I don't like it. But that doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing. It's, Aaron finally made a putt. It's just awkward and it takes a kiss I'm getting used to. I also think too, and we both thought, again, staying in line with a lot of people right now, the grip is on there closed. It's not square. Yeah, well this one's open. <laughs> yeah. Every grip's been on a little bit wonky and for some reason, and we, we're pretty sure it has to do with the Arcus technology in the back of the grip. Um, but if you look at the grip, it kind of, it almost like is like there's up. A it's like there's a bubble in the middle of it. Yeah, it kind of comes down and it's really hard for you guys to kind of see. And But you can kind of see it's up and then it starts to come down right here. And it may be. And I, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with Arcus and how that's in there, but. Now you think it's a visual? It may be a sh the shrink wrap. I don't, I don't know. We're trying to figure out. We're, we're trying to understand why, Cobra, why? Because as good as the 3D putter felt, oh, I messed up. Stuff is on there. It must have been, it's must have been sitting out in the heat for a little bit. I think it may have been the shrink wrap. Uh, it's not. No, it's, no it goes down. It. There's, there's like, it's not as it's not as squishy. It's like not as padded. Up I, I here. bet you anything it has something to do with Arcus. Because mm. well, and that Arcus thing I know because I just regripped one for a guy. The Arcus steel in all their grips, the Arcus thing is about that thick and about as big around as my thumb. And there's just a little cup. Then I got in nothing. The, in the top of the grip. I'm over here just trying to get the shrink wrap off still. It's good. Shrink wraps <laughs> struggle. Yeah, and so, I mean, uh, talk about the feel, Aaron. How does that putter actually feel? Hey, so I finally got it off. This, this, the mallet feels very... Mallety? Clicky. It does, it does not, it does not feel near as stable, which I wouldn't imagine that it would. But it does not 3D. feel near as stable as the 3D, and it doesn't feel as solid either. It okay. feels, um, I don't know what to compare it to. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel like a very good insert, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to... Explain it, it just feels clicky. Like even when you hit, like I hit that in the center. Yeah. And it just, I don't know, I just don't, yeah, it's just me. That was a nice little loop in your golf swing there. Yeah, I just, I don't, so, I don't like that rounded mallet looking. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's another thing too, is we're both. But that's just me. I'm gonna get this GoPro out of my pocket before I move further. And that, you know, when you're talking about putters, everybody has a very specific what they want their putter to mm -hmm. look like, feel like, all those types of things. You're more of a larger mallet kind of a guy. I'm more of a blade style guy. With that being said, this has just a little little S bend neck on it. I'm actually not a fan of that because that toe dives pretty severely. Mm -hmm. The only thing more would be that Mickelson blade style putter that does that. I'm more of a plumber's neck kind of guy, so like on a 45. Mm -hmm. um, because I do have a little bit of an arc. But with that being said, out of all the Cobra putters, this one has felt the best to me. But it's also the most normal if that makes sense. Yeah, it's like the most classic looking. Uh, well, yeah, and again, being a blade putter guy versus a mallet guy, 
it's very awkward for me to look at, especially the 3D printed one. Mm -hmm. Though, you know, if you, if you, again, if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch that one, and I kind of talk about this too. It just makes more sense for me because this, when I can, I can see me square the club up a little bit better with something mm -hmm. like this versus like that. That I have to just trust it's going to stay balanced, and I don't trust a lot of things, <laughs> including my golf swing. Nothing in putting that I trust. Now that's where I would expect to pull this more because it is a little bit more of a bend there. Mm -hmm. A little, a little more flip. toe hang, but it it feels better to me. But you're right, it does have a little more of a clicky. Um, newer Scotty Camerons, when they went to more of that insert mill mm -hmm. versus the old milling that went all the way from toe to heel across the face. Kind of the same idea there, I think, as far as feel. I prefer the older ones, a little softer, a little, yeah. um, a little more balanced, I guess you could say, feel-wise from toe to heel versus a really specific place. Yeah. The... Um yeah, the feel, the feel is definitely different between the two. I believe the feel of the 3D printed one is a lot softer. It is softer, than, I will give you that. Than the, than the feel of, of the vintage. I do think that's just, again, there's so much technology packed into mm -hmm. that one that it's almost like a, almost like a suppression system and when it when it impacts it just yeah, it deadens takes that feel and, and stuff out of it. Whereas this being more traditional, especially with uh, aluminum or um, aluminium for alu our UK people. Aluminium <laughs> and stainless steel head. It's yeah, that's, you're going to get a lot more solid. feedback yeah. on that one. Now, that being said, you take the shaft out and, and you put one of those stabilizer shafts in shaft it or, or LA Golf or something. Yeah, something like that. That might make that feel more like that because that's going to deaden a lot of that vibration. Mm -hmm. I like the vibration because I can tell if I've mishit it, put the putter on a kind of a funky axis or something like that. And But again, that's just me. So I just want it to feel good. I don't even care if it goes in. I care if it goes in. Because I don't get my putter to go in the hole very often, so. Shit it close, you don't have to putt. Also true. Wedges, get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so the vintage line, the second part of the Cobra line of putters. If you're that classic kind of putter look person, go check I, them out. I will Give say, compared to the old Cobra putters, there's really no new Cobra putters except for some box set stuff that's floating around out there. Yeah. I would say it's worth looking at. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's... It's a viable option, whereas previously I don't think it was a viable option. So mm -hmm. this is the first year. Now, with that being said, the question becomes, is, is it the Cobra or is it the sick thing? You know, it might be worth looking at a sick butter too. Sorry, Cobra. <laughs> um, and I need to apologize because I misspoke. These putters start at 250. The 3D printed putters, I said started at 250. Those actually are 350. So they're cheaper. My bad. The vintage are 250, the 3Ds are 350. Damn it, Aaron, get your shit together. Yeah. <laughs> but check them out. Go find you a retailer. Come to 1611. We can get you set up. Check out the whole line. And if like, that doesn't subscribe. work, say, so if that doesn't work, we'll sell you a lesson too. <laughs> yeah. If you don't like it, I'll sell you a different kind of putter. Whatever. Or a lesson. So thank you all for checking in. See you in the next one. I'm Ron Burgundy. Uh -huh.